Briggsburg Library patrons, in honor of National Pizza Party Day, we are going to read a book called So You Want to Grow a Pizza by Bridget Kiedos. Pizza is delicious. Have you ever wondered where it comes from? Like all food, it comes from plants and animals. How would you like to grow a pizza at home? You can't grow a whole pizza, of course, but you can grow the ingredients. The crust is made from wheat. For that, you'll need a wheat field. And for cheese, you'll need milk. That comes from a cow. Do you like pepperoni? That's made from pork, which comes from a pig. Uh-oh. Unless you live on a farm, you might be running out of space. Maybe you should start simple. Grow the sauce. Pizza sauce is made with tomatoes, garlic, and oregano. These plants need food of their own to grow. Plant food includes water, sunlight, and nutrients, which come from the soil. Choose a sunny spot, then add soil. You can make your own soil from compost. Compost is a mixture of stuff that used to grow as plants. Keep the compost damp and turn it every few days. Soon, worms will move in. They'll eat the compost and turn it into soil. This will take a couple of months. Now it's time to plant. Garlic likes cold weather. Plant it late in fall. Pull the cloves of garlic bulb apart. Plant them each in a small hole, pointy side up. Your garlic will grow through the winter, but wait until late spring to plant your tomatoes and oregano. Otherwise, they'll freeze. In spring, dig holes for the tomato plants. Place the plants root down in the holes. Cover the bases with soil, put metal cages around the young tomato plants. That way, the plants will grow tall and straight, not wild and crazy. Next, plant the oregano. Make a line in the soil. Sprinkle seeds along the line and cover them with soil. Water the garden and wait. You can't see it, but your plants are growing slowly. When the oregano seeds sprout, they'll be a little crowded. Pull some so that the others have room to grow. Keep watering every few days if it doesn't rain. Also, pull up weeds. If you don't, they'll steal food from your plants. Soon it will be harvest time. When the garlic leaves turn yellow, carefully pull up the bulbs. Pick the red tomatoes off the vine. Cut some sprigs of oregano. And now you can make the sauce and bake your pizza. And invite your friends over for a pizza party with the freshest pizza sauce in town. The end. Sounds good. It's making me hungry. Now, next we're going to do a craft, but it's going to be on a separate video. So we're going to stop now and look for the next one with our craft. We're going to make our own fake pizza for fun. Thank you.